What is going on? James from Act Audio, and today we are installing 10 inch mid range drivers on a 99 Harley with these Hefe rings, J E F E rings. So, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how we do it, what we do, and show you how you can do it. I'm not saying we're doing it the right way, but it's not the wrong way because there's a million ways to do it, uh, but this is how we do it. All right, so these rings, they have a small side and they have a big side. And you can see in the saddle bag, it's got a small side and a big side. So this is going to have to be relocated, but for now it's fine. This ring is going to sit in here like that. You can see it sits in pretty perfect. And that is how it goes on this bike. We will have an issue here, so we'll have to relocate this. Um, but we'll figure that out once we get in here. But so that's, you know, going to be our end result with the subwoofer in it. All right, so we got the spacer in, as you can see. Um, Ethan taped up the area we're going to be working, so we don't risk chipping or extra scratches. Um, you can, you know, this is actually my personal bike, so I'm not so concerned, but you can wrap the whole thing all the way around in tape or uh, plastic wrap. Um, so you got the screws in and we are going to uh, get our hole cut and go from there. We'll be back for that part. All right, so we have um, the outside of the bag marked up to what we plan on doing. So we drilled the holes for the, uh, to secure the, the bracket like I showed you before. Those were temporary. Um, then we traced out the speaker where it goes and we're decided, we've decided to only cut out this inner section, um, leaving these wings so that the sub is in here playing, firing out. Um, so you could cut out the whole thing. I've seen people, they just do like an eight, or if you're putting in an eight, they do a six. Uh, this is what we want to do. We thought it would look cool. And over here, we are installing our, our uh, nut certs. So we're installing these to go on the back side of this hole. And then we're going to put our screw through it to thread in. So these are pretty uh, simple to install. You're gonna drill out your hole and then you take the, the bit and the insert, the nutsert, and you just screw it in. And there you go. So now this baby is gonna sit on the inside of here and we're gonna put these screws through here to secure it and mount it to the box. All right, so we got our um, ring all ready, marked up. Ethan's got the bag, the holes for the um, cutting out, the holes for the bolts. You can't see that one or that one, that one's up there. The holes for the bolts are ready. And this is how we are cutting this. We're gonna use this to help give us a, a straight line and we are gonna cut this up. All right, and there it is, final product with the sub mounted. Um, there's some, like, this bag was pretty beat up. You can see on the side here, underneath it's chipped down there. So this was all, you know, pre-existing damage. But this bag's pretty beat up. Open it up. You can see the inside, we gotta get some cleaning done, but it pretty much consumes the whole bag. So our next step is to add, clean this out and add some sound deadening, which we've already started doing on this one. So we're gonna sound deaden the bag and line it just to add some stiffness to the bag and help keep it a little sturdy. All right, so this bag is done. Um, we, aren't, we aren't sound shielding the bottom. 
Um, this bag is not for um, traveling or anything. This is this is strictly I'm doing this strictly for sound on the bike for the store. So we lined it with sound shield all the way around. Um, and kind of had to piece it in so it's not pretty but it works it's adding some stiffness to the bag um maybe at some point we'll go back and do the floor but right now i don't have time um so here it is it's mounted in subs mounted so we got to cut we're working on the other one so this is going to go on the bike and be ready to rock